Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're back with the which Brandy Melville items are worth it and which ones are not. These are my most heavily requested videos to do. So many of you guys have been asking me to do more and the only reason I've been hesitant is because I try to avoid shopping at Brandy because of their one size fits all thing and I just don't agree with it. But I do still occasionally buy Brandy off of Depop and I know you guys really like these videos so I was putting it off but I'm gonna do another one because you guys seem to really like them and I think it's helpful to know like which things I think you should spend your money on which things I don't because I've basically had everything from Brandy. Not everything, obviously, but I've had a lot. I also just want to say this is obviously my opinion. Some people might like the things that I don't like and I'm not trying to be like know-it-all or anything. I've just had a lot of Brandy and you guys seem to like these. So I thought I would do another one. With all that being said, let's just get into it and I'm going to go over some of the comments that you guys left on my last video that I did like this. Okay, so... I have my computer right here and I have a bunch of questions screenshotted and I'm just gonna go through them. Okay, so this one, I'll put it right here. It says, hey, I love your videos so much. Thank you. I watch them as soon as they come out, but can you tell us which tank tops you prefer? Nothing specific, but which ones do you like the best because I want to buy some. Okay, so my ultimate favorite is the Skylar tank top. It comes in a bunch of different prints and all of that stuff. Personally, my favorite is this one because it's like a lot more fitted and it kind of has that like stretchy material opposed to these ones that are more just the cotton ones that don't fit as well to your body and those are just the Skylar tanks overall those are probably my favorite tank top from Brandy okay this is a big one well, she asks about the light gray Rosa sweatpants first I've had quite a few pairs of the Rosa sweatpants so I did have these classic gray Rosa sweatpants I sold them on Depop just because I didn't wear them that much and also because some of the Rosa sweatpants I don't know why they do this but they are like tighter than the other ones but the ones that I do definitely recommend these ones are also Rosa Rosa sweatpants in light gray, but they say St. George right here. For some reason, these ones fit way better than the like plain ones because these ones are a lot more baggy and like comfy. The other ones are like too tight on me. If you want tighter fitting ones because like that's more your size, I would go for the plain ones or any of these colored ones. These all for some reason fit so tight on me. But yeah, I definitely recommend these ones. I wear them all the time. I also have the dark gray ones that are plain and those ones fit pretty good too. Okay, and then the I'll meet you in New York top. So there's a few few different of these. The one I honestly don't recommend is the Jamie I'll meet you in New York shirt. The fit is honestly just like not flattering at all. It's just like a square and I just don't think it's worth it honestly. I just really don't think it's that cute. But if you do like the graphic of that, I would recommend the Ashlyn I'll meet you in New York top. That one's more cropped and more fitted. The material of that one is a lot softer and thicker than the other one. The other one's just like basic thin t-shirt material. Okay, the next one she asks about is the Christy hoodie this one right here. Their hoodies are great. Quality actually is really, really good. I personally prefer the Erica crewnecks over the hoodies. That's just me. I tend to like more of like a crew neck unless it's a zip up, but if you like the hoodie style, yeah, quality is definitely there. I just like the heaviness and the like fit of the Erica crew neck. Like I'm obsessed with them. I'll put up pictures of my favorite ones. I have this one right here and it's like my favorite sweater. So it depends on what style you want. Okay. And then the gray Carla hoodie. I like their Carla hoodies, but they're a little bit smaller than the Christie hoodie. I don't know really what the difference is with that because I've seen them be listed as both. This is the Christie hoodie. If you want an oversized zip up that's just like super soft, go for the Christie. If you're shorter, I would say go for the Carla because it is a little bit shorter. The Crispina jeans. Okay, so these are adorable. I've had these in white and I loved them. Fit is adorable. It depends on sizing, obviously. I think they have a small and medium go in the store. Obviously, they should have way more sizes than that and it makes me so angry that they don't. If you are on the shorter side, they are gonna be a little bit short on you. I'm 5'5 and they fit like right at my ankle. Okay, are these worth it? Colleen dress. I don't like the Colleen dress personally. That's probably my biggest I wouldn't recommend and I hate that I don't because their prints are so cute on those dresses But I've tried them and I really don't like them. I think I've spoken on this before They have a tie that ties around your back, but it ties like right here rather than right here I tried and there's literally no way for it to look flattering on me again. Some of you might disagree It totally depends but for me personally, I just don't like 
like the fit on these. And I feel like the pictures kind of show how it's kind of like awkwardly fitting. So if you like more of like a tighter waist on your dress, I would definitely say don't go for those. The Joanne skirt. I didn't think that's what that skirt was called. I thought they were talking about these ones, which I have had and I do like. The darker colors, I would definitely recommend. The lighter colors are a bit see-through, so just keep that in mind. The fit is really cute and it's more just like that flowy feel, which I think is really pretty. Um, and the Skylar tank, absolutely love. How short is it? They definitely have the measurements online, but I'd say it's a little bit longer than the tank top I'm wearing right now. Okay, I recently found your channel and you're amazing. Thank you. Could you review these brand new items in your next fit? So the Bella top. I have had this one in the little heaven scent print and I thought it was really cute. I liked it. Quality wise, it's like average, not anything crazy but the price is pretty decent for this one so I would say if you like that kind of like shorter sleeve cropped type feel then it's definitely worth it. The Helen top I would say no I don't recommend it. I just personally don't like the fit of it. I've had these two and it's baggy but it's like cut weird so it's like it's not cropped but it's also baggy. I feel like when a shirt's more of that like baggy looser feel it looks really cute cropped or just like oversized. I personally don't like just like a hip length kind of not fitted shirt. If you want a shirt that's not cropped and is this kind of fit, the quality is pretty good, but I just personally don't like the fit of them. I don't think it's very flattering on me. Okay, and then the Bernadette sweater. So the Bernadette sweater is really good quality, so I would definitely say that portion of it is good. Depends on what type of sweater you like. Again, if you like a more cropped type of feel, I wouldn't recommend it, but this is super cute with like a little pleated skirt. You can tuck it in or you can kind of just have it like oversized. Okay, and then any of the graphic tees that they have, I love their graphic tees. I think the quality is nice. I think all of the graphics are like so cute. Also, I have a question to ask. Do you ever wear your cropped brandy to school or do you wear non-cropped ones? I'm in online college now, but when I was in high school, um... I don't remember. I think I would wear the cropped ones, but I would usually wear them with like high-waisted jeans or something. Can you talk about the Genevieve skirt and the Bella top? Okay, I already touched on the Bella top, but the Genevieve skirt, honestly, I'd say I don't recommend it. I personally don't really like the fit of it. I feel like it, it's kind of hard to get it to look good because you wrap it around and then you tie it. I've had them in a few different colors and I've just ended up selling them because I don't really like them that much. The lighter colors, like the white ones and the pink ones are a tiny bit see-through, so I personally don't like them. That's just my my opinion obviously but yeah this one says do you have any bottoms that you recommend I'm 11 and I'm either size 1 or 0 I don't know the number one pants I would say I recommend from Brandy are the Tilden pants I love them they come in so many cute prints and I have these ones and they're like my go-to like comfy but like flattering pants and then for skirt recommendations I would say the Cara skirt and I feel like that's a good option because it's not too short and the Dana skirt those ones are better for like smaller sizes I had the Dana skirt and it's honestly way too short on me. That's just because my my booty makes it short. So if you're looking for smaller items like I assume you are, I would go for the Dana skirt or the Cara skirt. Hey, I love the brandy tanks, but do you recommend any which are less cropped as I am looking to find tanks which are full length? So for tanks that are less cropped, I would say the Marissa tank. Those are really cute. I just personally don't like them because I prefer a cropped tank top because I'm always wearing like baggy stuff over my cropped tank tops. But yeah, that one's good as well as the Dallas button tank. I have this or I had it. No, I have it. I'm selling it on Depop in light blue. It's super cute, really soft. I would probably recommend this one more over the other one I showed. This one's like super cute. It looks a little cropped in this picture, but she's wearing low rise jeans. With high rise jeans, it's not cropped at all. Brandy kind of crops everything a little bit, but I would recommend if you want something that's like not cropped at all, their graphic t-shirts would be really good. I feel like I'm talking so much, but you guys said in my last one that you like when they're longer, so. I'll make this one longer. Hey girl, love you so much. I love you more. Could you let me know what you think of these? Skylar tank, I already talked on. Love it. Blith tank, I've never had. It looks super cute. I've just never gotten it because it's not really my style. The Faye tank is really cute. It's also that like kind of grabby material that's more like stretchy and soft. The material wise, I love it. It's a straight cut. I personally like tank tops to be a little bit more like this. I don't know what you call that, but I don't love the straight cut. But on that one, I do like it if it's that stretchy material because it actually just like hugs your body. The 
Noella sweater. I haven't had this one, so I can't talk on it. And the Erica sweatshirt, that's my absolute favorite. That's definitely in the top three things that I absolutely recommend from Brandy. The other two are probably the Tilden pants and the crystal. Okay, sorry, my camera died. So the last one I'm gonna answer because I've been filming for way too long is are Brandy accessories worth it? Like not just jewelry, like the bags and belts and things like that. Love you, Rid, so much. Thank you. So when it comes to their accessories, the jewelry is very cheap. So it's obviously not like super good quality. It's gonna like rust and change colors and stuff. But if you keep it out of water, it tends to last like a good amount of time. Other than the jewelry, I would say there are a few bags that I definitely do recommend. So these duffel bags, I'll show you mine. I have this gray like plaid one and I literally use it all the time when I need to like bring a lot of stuff somewhere. It's like my go-to bag. It's super soft and just like good quality. It is, I think like 50 something dollars. I think the quality is really good and I feel like it is worth it. And then I also have this little backpack that I use all the time. It's fuzzy and I would definitely say it's also worth it. The quality is really nice. Their bags like these are really, really cute, but I have a dupe from, I think Sheen or Zaffoy, I can't remember, of this one and it's basically the exact same thing. So if you want a cheaper version, I would go for that or look on Depop because there's a bunch of really cute bags like that. Those are definitely the main accessories that I for sure recommend. Okay guys, so if you want me to do another part of this, I definitely can. Just let me know down below. If you want me to make them longer, I definitely can because I have so many questions from you guys but I just don't want to be like super boring and just talk too much. Just let me know down below. Tell me any ones that you want to know my opinion on and all of that stuff. And yeah guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here and you want to see more from me, go subscribe down below, hit the like button if you liked it, and comment so we can talk and be friends. And yeah guys, I will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.